Hi friends, thanks for watching! More and more we're using videos today, whether to upload them to social media or play them in a PowerPoint presentation. And there's plenty of video editing software out there from really simple stuff to really complicated and expensive stuff, but you might not know that you can do basic video editing right here in PowerPoint. Let me show you how. I have an mp4 file from another YouTube video that I did about PowerPoint design tips. Check out that link above and below if you're interested. But this is the one we're going to be using for this video, and I'll show you some basic editing that you can do. I'll just pick this up and drag it over to my slide here, and then I'll center this on the slide, just like this. Now this is about 17 minutes, 20 seconds long, and I can just play it directly here in PowerPoint. Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. I'll stop that there. There's four different design tips covered in the video, but let's say I want to trim it down to just a single tip, and maybe I want to add a fade at the end, resize it, put it on a loop, recolor it. All of those things can be done here in PowerPoint. So let's start by trimming it down. I'll click on the video, and then up here under Playback, the first thing I want to do is put in some bookmarks. A bookmark is a way to kind of mark a favorite or an interesting spot in the video, and you can easily move around between them. I mentioned the four different tips. I happen to know what those times were. There's one at about 27 seconds, so I'll position my mouse there, and then up here on the ribbon, click Add Bookmark. And you'll see it puts a little yellow circle there. So that's the first tip, was about alignment. Our second tip was at about 4 minutes and 7 seconds. Obviously, if you didn't know these, you could just play them here in the slide and find your spots for the bookmarks. This one was about proximity. I'll add a bookmark there as well. And then our next one is going to be about 8 minutes and 19 seconds. We'll add a bookmark there for contrast. And finally, over at about 14 minutes, 19 seconds, there's our fourth tip. So we'll add a bookmark here. And again, this just gives you an easy way to jump between different spots in the video. All right, maybe we want to trim this down and we only want to focus on the contrast tip from this video. So let's trim the rest of it out. To do that, I'll come up here to Trim Video. And all you need to do is drag these little handles on the side. You'll see the green one here, and then we've got a red one over here at the end. So just drag that up to wherever you want to trim to. So this was the end of the contrast tip here, where that bookmark is. Before we get to simplicity, there we go. And then we'll start here at the beginning of this bookmark about contrast. And if you need to get more precise, you can adjust things here with the arrows, or you can type in here as well. And when you have it just the way you want it, click OK. All right, now you'll see the video starts at contrast, and it's just about just under six minutes long. So we've trimmed out all of the other content. All right, next let's say that I want to add a fade at the end of this. To do that, we can do a fade out up here. If you hover over this, you'll see that it puts a fade at the end of the clip for however many seconds you specify here. You can also do a fade in in the beginning if you want, but let's look at that fade out. I'll just position my mouse here towards the end. Click play. Hey. We're heading in the right direction in terms of contrast, scannability, and visual interest. And you'll see that fades out nicely there at the end for five seconds. Another common thing to need to do is to put a video on a loop. So again, with your video selected, come up here to say loop until stopped. This can be nice if perhaps you're working at a conference and you've got a lunch break or a coffee break and you just want to cycle a video through over and over again. That will play that on the loop for you. So again, going to the end of the video, I'll just play this and you'll hey, see. We're heading in the right direction in terms of contrast, scannability, and visual interest. Take a quick look at that picture. You'll see that it looped again back to the beginning there. And then another really handy feature, especially if you're embedding this in a PowerPoint file, is to be able to start it automatically. So up here under Start, rather than doing it in click sequence, you can automatically start, meaning that once you navigate to this slide, the video will start playing all by itself, which again is nice, especially for a presentation or a conference you might be doing. You can also adjust the volume if you want, so maybe you want it to play on a low volume in the background while you're speaking over it, something like that. Did you notice the contrast? And it might be hard to tell coming oh, through this video, but it's a little bit softer now. We'll bump that back up to high. So those are some basic things you can do here on the playback tab, but if you come to video format up here on the ribbon, you can also do pretty much anything you can do with a shape or a picture in PowerPoint also. 
So with your video selected, maybe we want to recolor this. Come over to color. Perhaps you want to do a black and white version. And you'll see that that's made everything grayscale or black and white throughout. You can try different colors as well. Probably not what I was going for, but that's an option. Of course, you can resize this just like you could resize any other object here in PowerPoint. Maybe you want it to be something like this. Center it on the slide. Put a border around it. So coming up to video border, maybe a black border here. You can also crop. Again, just like you'd crop anything else, click on the crop button up here. And this will actually cut out throughout the video. Now in this case, it's not going to work super well because it's going to cut off some of my content. But if we play, you'll see right there it got cut off. So maybe not something you want to do all the time, but depending on your situation, it might come in handy. You can also, if you come back up to video format, change it to a shape. So maybe for some reason you want this to be an oval shape. So that'll crop everything in your video to that shape as well. So you can play around with these different options here, get it just how you want it. You can also undo all of this really easily. So maybe you just tried a few things out to see what they look like, but you can always come up here to reset design and I'll reset design and size. And that'll take it back to its original size and shape. If I zoom out a little bit, you'll see we're back to where we started. Notice that it didn't restore the part that you trimmed off. So this is still about six minutes, not the original 17, but the size and overall shape and all of that is restored to where you started. Now, if this is not a video that you want to keep here in PowerPoint, maybe you want to upload it to social media, let's say or something like that. Just right click on it, save media as, and then you can save this. We'll just say updated here and save. So now we've saved off the edited video that's only six minutes long with whatever other changes you made. And that's it. That's how to do basic video editing right here in PowerPoint. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to check out the other videos in my PowerPoint playlist and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.